very similar to the first row. The styling carries through to the second row as well. So we've got our Revel audio badge along the side. We've got some speakers there all throughout. Nice leather that matches what's going on in the inside there as well. A little storage tray, a window control, and our handle, along with some storage along the door. So that's the same for the driver passenger side. We do have a mini scuff plate along the side there, which is kind of neat. We can also fold the seat flat that way if we want to. So you can see we've got our tether point along the back. That's the same for the first and for the second row. And, or sorry, for the first, for the second and for the third row, I should say. But the seats are fantastic. Now, we can get into the third row very easily, but I'll show you that one in just a sec. There are some highlights I want to show you here. Now, this one that we're pulling in order to be able to fold the seat down, we can also pull it in order to recline the seat. But I'll show you in a second. Just in between our legs of the second row, we've got this little release. So we can pull that to slide the seat forwards and backwards. But let's hop inside. Look at this. Nice little storage space underneath. So we've got a few different configuration options we can look at inside of the navigator. So whether we've got this, so we've got our console there, we can do the bench seat as an available option as well. So it's going to depend on how many seats do you need inside of this thing. So we've got a minimum of what, seven seats? with an optional eighth, just depending on what's going on here. But because this one has the console, look at the console and what this thing can do. So we've got a few cup holders here, but new for the 2022 model year, second row massage seats. Oh, I've got to try this. Upper rolling, lower rolling. Oh, let's do upper rolling. Oh, that's nice. So we've got a massage chair seats there, massage left versus right. It is really comfortable. We can turn this thing on off. Massage seats are resetting. Jumping back home. We've also got heated and ventilated second row seats, which is fantastic. Back home, we can adjust the climate for the second row within the back here, and adjust our fan speed, face or feet, etc. We can change out the audio from the second row here. We've got some different options for sources and things like that. Back again, we've got some different options for settings. So we can turn the display off. We can have it go to a calming screen instead. So many options that are available inside this thing. Like it is, it's mind boggling. And having massage chair seats and heated and ventilated second row seats, phenomenal. Now it's just second row seats. The third row seats aren't gonna be heated or ventilated whatsoever. And then a note just on the heated ventilated. Hold on, let me see. This is gonna be a test. Okay, so there was like obviously like a, you heard like sirens and things like that going. It's almost quiet on the inside. I can't really hear anything on the outside. It's so good. It's like that whole idea of like active noise cancellation. Phenomenal. But we do have a series of options, as I mentioned. So for the heated ventilated seats, it's strictly going to be for the outboard seats. So even if we get the option with a bench seat, so that other seat in the middle, that middle seat is never going to be heated whatsoever. It's strictly going to be that driver passenger side on the outside. Still nice that we've got that as an available option though. But as we start to move down a little, oh, hello. As we move down a little bit, you can see we've got another little armrest in that console there. Nice amount of storage space inside of this thing as well. We've got a little light in the back. I already pointed out that we've got a little storage space under here. And then as we move across, we've got a series of different power points. So we've got two more USB ports. So another USB, USB-C. There's another 12 volt power point there as well. And we also have this, so a regular wall outlet. So a series of power points that are available. We've got some cup holders. Uh, down they go, haha, <laughs> so nice. Click that bad boy back up. And we can also control what's going on with the shade. So second row has the flexibility of adjusting the shade as well, which is phenomenal. So if kids are fighting, they've got the flexibility to be able to turn these things off. So even this main screen, you've got the flexibility through the Sync 4 media screen to turn this thing off. So you'd essentially be able to lock people out so they wouldn't be able to use this whatsoever. But it is really nice. The second row seats are really, really comfortable, like night and day comfort from the 2021 model. Like this is really, really nice two-way yeah only two-way adjustable headrest there but still it's really good we have our little assist handle there a hook we've also got some cabin control lights we can adjust what's going on with our fan for that driver passenger side and as you can see there speakers again all over the place now i did mention we have the flexibility to recline the seats as well so that's the lever that we pulled to recline to fold the seat down we can go the opposite way 
and to create a little recline there as well. So really, really useful. You're going on distance trips and you want a little bit more of a comfortable experience. It is really nice. So being able to recline the seat with those massage chair seats on, you're traveling in style. It's phenomenal. Now, a few things. Third row spacing is interesting because we've got our little console in the middle there. So getting into the third row obviously is not going to happen. If we've got that console in the middle, we can't just do a pass through. What we have to do, down they go, love it, is on the outside here, we've got two different ways that we can get into the back row. So way number one, we've got this handy little button there. So as you can see, lifts, and we can just fold this thing forward in order to get into the back row there. But the other option that we've got is along the very top. So we've got a little release up along the top there that you can make out. So we can pull that as well in order to be able to slide it forward. So, I mean, you saw there, I did it one handed, whether we do the button press there or we do the pull along the side, we've got a series of options. I did mention that we've got the anchor points there, or tethers, I should say. We've got the anchor points along the seat as well for that second and for the third row. But hopping into the third row. Oop, I forgot I lowered the headrest when we were in the first row. This is really comfortable. This is really comfortable. Oh, this is nice. So we've obviously got our bench seat, so 60-40 split, so 60 driver, 40% on the passenger. Adjust that bad boy out as necessary there. Got some things to highlight. Got a tiny little storage tray back there. Those anchor points, or tether points. We can also, oh yeah, I may as well do it on this side, but I'm here. So we can power recline the seat. Now it's not a big recline as you can see there, it's just a small one, but we can go up with it. <laughs> we can go back with it, which is really nice, but a few things to point out. So I'm six feet tall and with me sitting up back, just because of the recline in the seat there, my head's actually touching the back. So if I were to sit a little bit more upright, comfortable, but my same thing, my head's touching the very, very top back here. So with me being six feet tall, sitting in the third row, gonna be a little bit tight, not impossible. Like if you had to do it, you drew the short straw, you need to get a bunch of people in the truck, not impossible to do it, but just pointing out there, just something to think about. Though taller people, they will be able to fit back here, but a little uncomfortable if you're like over six feet. Like if you're like six three, six four, it's gonna be tight in the third row. And as we move up overhead, we've got some base controls for our cabin lights. We can control the vents back here as well. We've got a hook along the driver passenger side there. So another little cargo hook. And we've got some cup holders there, a USB power point. And that USB power is gonna be the same on the driver passenger side in the third row. So it is nice that we've got that there as an option. But with the seat set up, so let's pull this bad boy. All right, there we go. So that would pretty much be uh, fairly close. I'm actually gonna do this because I know this seat set up for somebody who's six feet tall. All right, so with the seat kind of back all the way, my knees are just kind of touching there. So still a nice amount of space, but they are touching. I've got a nice amount of foot space though. And it's the same idea. So head space is the same. So like I said, six feet tall, you won't have an issue sitting back here if you need to. But I mean, at the same time, you do the short straw, you could sit back here comfortably and you could recline as necessary to make it a teeny bit more comfortable for you. Really nice though. I love the seats and like the third row seats are so comfortable. Oh, yes, I like smoke my head off the roof. Super comfortable seats back here, which is nice. I do wish we had third row massage seats, but at least we now have it in the second row. Amazing. It's available as a factory option. We've got our anchor points down there as well. And I mentioned that's the same for the third and for the second row. And then getting out, all we have to do, we can pull here, push and slide. So simple. Yeah. All right, so nice. And then slide and back she goes. But really, really straightforward. And as you can see, they're just so, so much space. It's kind of ridiculous, but a little bit realistic for some people all at the same time. Because I come from a family with nine kids. So something like this, like it's nice. We still would have probably needed this plus one. Like I remember growing, uh, growing up, we had the Ford Expedition, same size as the Navigator, and we still needed to have a spare car all at the same time, but amazing vehicles. I, I love it. 